Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Something good is waiting for me on the porch. Check this out. Looky there. Now, it's going to be quite obvious to anybody who watches my videos that this should be a, an unboxing. As you see, I've already unboxed it. Only reason why is because I thought the camera was rolling and it wasn't. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the box now, show you what it looks like tell you what I think about it, first impressions, and so on and so forth, because this will be my first impressions. Alright guys, here we go. So, like I said, I've already unboxed it because I thought that sucker was running and there it wasn't. But that's okay, right? Okay. So, go ahead and get it out of here. Basically anything that they make, this uh, brand Millennium Tree Stands. And you have the care instructions. Alright, that's it for the box. Alright, so, pretty sure, oh, let, let me tell you the specs first. So, the material is aluminum. The capacity this will hold is 300 pounds, which obviously I'm alright on. It weighs 4 pounds. The seat width is 20 inches by 17. So looks very spacious so um, I'm not gonna unfold it right now I'll, I'll do that in the woods after I look at it and everything but from now it looks pretty good so uh, yeah it's very light good it's great I mean it's I mean two fingers pretty, pretty easy so this was I think $74 and I think that's what I paid for $74.79 I'll put it uh, right here and let you know um, how much it was. I think I'm pretty sure it was 74. But anyway, I had uh, Bass Pro Rewards points. And I believe I had $61 worth of them. So basically it was free. But really it wasn't because I had to spend all that money for all the other stuff. So, And let me tell you this. Let me give you a little advice. If you have Bass Pro Rewards points that have expired, all you have to do is call them on the phone or I just chat on email or through the uh, messenger where it says chat window. And I told them I had some rewards points that expired. Bam, they reactivated all of them, and that's how I got so many. So that's all you gotta do. If you have some, if you had any, anytime you've not used them and they're all expired, all you gotta do is call and get them up. So that's good. All right, guys, let's get in the woods here and uh, and uh, try this out because I am really anxious. All right, guys, we're out in the field now, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try this uh, uh, Millennium tree st seat out, not stand, but it's tree seat. Um, I've already made the mistake a couple times calling it a tree stand, but uh, this is my first test with it, so wish me luck. Um, this is you seeing it. I mean, you saw it from me get it right out of the box. Uh, I just came in here in the woods today. I'm going to have a little afternoon hunt here. I'm just now off work, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on this tree here before I go in the woods, make sure I can set it up and everything is good to go. So stick with me, guys. I'm going to go ahead and stick on this tree behind me before I get down here on this trail. Hopefully we uh, set up pretty easy and everything goes good. So here we go. Here goes nothing. All right, so it has a little um, rubber, like a little hair twist tie thing that goes. I guess it gets inside here, and it just uh, holds the seat up. And it's got like a little belt clip here with a little latch. All right, so far so good. So it looks like it's got a little um, latch that kind of hooks into here kind of like this just and uh, let's see how sturdy that is see nothing but good reviews on this thing so we'll see
All right, let's go ahead and sit down and see what we got. Oh man, that is nice. Easily set up. Now, of course, you know, once I get better at it and do it all a lot more, it'll probably be a lot easier and quicker and a lot quieter, but I mean, I'm, I feel very, very confident that's not gonna go down. Pretty nice. So far, I recommend 100%, guys. I'll let you know at the end of the hunt. Three. All right, guys, so yesterday's hunt with the tree seat went perfect, guys. Uh, I was able to sit very comfortably. One thing I noticed about the seat was the simple fact that you could not cinch it down. When it was on the tree, you had to push the button in and pull it around, which is kind of good. That way it's safety. That way you know you shouldn't be able to fall when you're in the tree. Well, you won't be high anyway in the tree. You're not supposed to be. So I'll never use it in a tree stand um, just because I don't feel comfortable like that. But uh, another thing, um, it was when I got to the tree, uh, you saw the video the day before when I put it on the tree, kind of wobbly. Well, I got all that taken care of, figured it out. Sorry about the wind. It's really windy out here, as usual, of course, on my videos. Um, but when I got to the tree, uh, everything was, you know, I took my time because, you know, I was trying to be quiet. You know, and I left the seat folded up and wrenched in behind there, and I cinched that way. It was a little easier that way. I didn't have to really fight anything that way, so it worked out great. Um, leave me a comment down below. What seat did you guys like? Uh, I had a, uh, uh, a Summit one before. It had the big U-arms on it. It was super comfortable. It was so bulky. This thing folds, I mean, completely flat. Uh, when you walk out, which I'm going to put it on here and show you just in a quick second, uh, how tight it goes to your body. It's unbelievable. And, uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, another thing I noticed about it, uh, you need to make sure that you bring something to put underneath your butt because when that wind blows you and you're sitting there for you know an hour or two or three you're gonna get cold because it's just a mesh seat so I think I need to have some kind of a fleece blanket or something maybe to make put on there some I don't know something like something light and yet very warm so anyway guys leave me a comment below and let me know uh, what kind of seats you like and uh, if you've had any luck using any of them and uh, and especially if you've used one and it's so bad like I had one before where you sat on the tree and had ball bearings in and every time you would turn your with the ball bearings it was terrible so anyway guys like what you see here like and subscribe guys and i'm going to show you what the tree stand looks like on my back and i'll see you on the next one guys